Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fishing North Atlantic where we have a massive, and I mean a massive, problem. Uh, crab, I... Th nope, I didn't want crab. But oh well, we will do that anyway. Uh, anyway, yeah, we have a massive problem. What are we doing? Okay, you just do, you do you. Uh, anyway, so the problem is, is that, uh, when we were in port, we, uh, we were doing all right. I bought five more lines just in case, and I tried to get some fuel, <laughs> and I ran out of money. Uh, so we have zero dollars, zero dollars, and, uh, not great. We only got six thousand dollars last episode. So, uh, yeah. And then, if that was, uh, any less, oh, I guess you can set it to. And then if that was anything, uh, less than, uh, great, we, uh, got point, zero point five percent interest. So now we owe $170,285 or something like that. So just, just absolutely, uh, fantastic for, uh, Nothing. Uh, noth nothing's really going our way here. But at least we know that we can only set about five lines. Uh, so we'll set five lines. We'll come back. Um, actually, when we set these and we pick them up, then we're going to set the other five. And so we're going to try to make as much money as we absolutely can and just keep them um, re you know, going back and forth um, and always have five lines in the water so that we don't have to, uh, don't have to worry about nothing and uh, try to bring in as much money as humanly possible. It is completely dark out here. Uh, it is snowing just a little bit, even though there's 0% chance of uh, precipitation. It is January 1st, 2021, in-game. So, I mean, that's either good or bad, not for sure. Uh, let's see, two, four, six. So I think we got two more lines, I think. But uh, yeah, so we're not doing the greatest. This is uh, probably the worst. Uh, oh, wow. And we're turning pretty hardcore. Oh, well, we might as well just continue. I need to set autopilot, but I don't have autopilot. So we're kind of just SOL in this terms of life. SOL the uh, entire, entire way, pretty much. So anyway, hopefully you guys are enjoying this series because uh, I don't know if I am or not. <laughs> it is... Oh boy, howdy! It's uh, it's challenging, uh, and it's actually very good. I uh, I like the challenge. I like that uh, you know there is a challenge now. I mean, instead of just going out catching fish, almost you know no matter what. So it's a it's a good little uh, challenge for us, and I'm and I'm glad that we're doing it. So um, yeah, I mean I can't wait to see what this has in store for us. Um, no matter what. Now, the only thing is, is that we're going to have to really watch out for, um, our fuel. Because, uh, this boat kind of drinks quite a bit of it. So, we're going to have to watch out for that. Uh, 48 minutes, so we need to skip 18 hours. Let's kill the motor. Yeah, we got half a tank and we have no more money. So, we'll skip 18 hours. Beautiful right in the middle of the day. Here, let's see. Okay, apparently we need one more hour because 18 hours isn't a thing. There we go. The weather changed just like that. Ain't that crazy? So we still don't have a worker, so we're going to have to be picking them up ourselves, and then we're going to have to get ourselves, which we have learned is not great whatsoever. But anyway, we have to change the paint color of this boat because black, uh, black boat in the black of night Ain't the greatest. It's kind of hard to see. So, we're going to have to just be careful with that. Oh, come on. Wait, it's right next to the boat. The second buoy. Whatever. Whatever. Can I pick up the second line, or are you going to be that finicky? and have to be the first one. I don't have the, uh, the helper deal on, so... Beautiful. So, we're going to just have to be careful. 14 fish. That's good. I know 15 will uh, get you about 8,000 pounds. Four, 14 fish will get you about 4,000. So somewhere in that range. We got a few pounds of cod uh, in the last episode, but uh, 
you know, it didn't really do us any good. Uh, we're going to have to go to Yarmouth, just because Yarmouth had a little bit better prices, I do believe. Uh, so we'll have to think about that in the long term. Uh, port reputation, I don't believe, is a thing in this, what we have. I think I turned it off. Um, I forgot to actually look it up. But anyway, with that all being said, we'll just have to uh, have to think about life uh, a little bit closer than uh, going in and having, you know, a $50,000 paycheck every time. And uh, now, now thinking about it, I wish we would have made all the money instead of getting a loan or stuff like that. But, oh, well, you know, we, uh, we're we still learning how to do all this fancy dancy technology and, and stuff like that. So we'll just uh, go with the flow. So, oh, that was a terrible one. Oh, well. And then, of course, we're going to have to upgrade the, uh, upgrade the gaff and the spear and knife and everything else as well. 4,900 pounds was not terrible on that aspect of things. Let's see, what is the quotas on this here? 188 pounds, 24,000 pounds of haddock. So, going to have to watch out for that. We're going to be picking up a ton of uh, haddock. And we only have 330,000 pounds we can catch. So, we're going to have to watch out for that. And then hopefully, we can pick up uh, some lines and uh, try to save some money on that aspect of, of life as well. And then hopefully it uh, will work out. 12 fish on this one. That ain't great. We uh, definitely need all the fish we can get because uh, the more fish, the better. So uh, we need to save enough money to uh, bait the lines and for fuel because right now we are basically not making any money uh, at all. But at the end of the month, we need to have at least $5,000 for the loan payment. I think it's 5500 I'm going to have to make sure, or once we get back into port, I'm going to have to uh, check and see uh, how much it actually is so that we know just roughly how much we have to have in the bank. Hopefully, uh, the fish will pay for itself, uh, and uh, we won't have to worry about it. But uh, definitely not working right now. So pretty much uh, I'm going to try to stay away from loans. Uh, as, as best as possible because uh, it's just not worth it anymore. Uh, like I said, you just don't get as much money uh, as you used to. So we're just going to have to be careful with it. Uh, 4,800 pounds on that one. So basically the same amount for 12 fish. That's not bad. Must have had some cod in there, which is good here. Let's see. Uh, some cod. Eh, maybe a little bit, but not too terribly much. 440,000 440, pounds of uh, pollock and 220 of haddock or uh, cod. So, going to have to watch out for the cod too. If we can catch more cod, then uh, that's definitely going to help us out because cod is definitely worth more money. Not by much, but it is worth more money. Um, and then, of course, I think. The port reputation uh, is still a thing when you go up to, uh, you know, sell it. I think you get more money for it, but I don't think you get, um, you know, like a bonus for it. I think that's how it's going to work because uh, they were selling cod for like $2.48 instead of like $0.38. Cents. So yeah, we definitely got the low spectrum of the, uh, of the fish. So we're probably going to have to just go to the same port over and over and over and over and over again to get that built up so we can get money. But like I said, we'll just have to just have to wait and see. There's a perfect for us. 2,000 pounds, but that was only an eight fish line. So we'll fill up the boat. We won't uh, damage the uh, habitat too terribly much. Speaking of habitat, let's take a quick look, see, and see how we're doing. Everything's still medium, fantastic. I mean, we only did five lines, so can't hurt it too much if we you know haven't done anything but you never know you never know there was a, a cod down there so if we can find cod then that is definitely what we uh, need to target because like I said cod is worth more money we may not make the most money ever in the world but until we can get a bigger boat I mean there's not much we can do here's a 15 fish line so that's definitely a max line hopefully another 8,000 pounds because we need absolutely all the weight we can get as many fish as we can get is what we need and then uh, 
the whole gutting aspect, that's what we're uh, really going to have to work on, too, because I think the best we had was like 3%, or 3 stars, and, and that's absolutely terrible. So maybe we'll go into, into port, and then we'll gut them at the dock, so it's not as rocky, but I mean, it was pretty rocky there in Dennis Point when I loaded up, this, uh, loaded up the game, so I'm going to have to just take her easy. I got something in my right eyeball, and it's bugging me. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Got a few more fish here. I think we had six more. Now five more. But boy, howdy, let me tell you what. We had, uh, I had to call the, the courthouse today. Uh, supposedly I got drafted, or, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, got a letter in the mail saying that uh, I got to call in for jury duty. But apparently there's no, uh, no jury needed for uh, tomorrow. Apparently it's like a one-day thing, so it ain't too bad, but I had to call them, so I had to cut my brother's visit a little bit short because we were at his house. 6,000 pounds, that's not bad. We have 4,000-ish pounds to go. But, yeah, I had to, we were over at his house and, um, you know, talking to him and his wife and, and the two girls. We, if you guys didn't know, I have two nieces. And... Uh, there's one that's actually three months old today. No, so two months, two months, two months. no, two months old today, not three, two months. And then uh, we have Monkey, which uh, is what I named every single boat after. Um, and she is almost three, so just grown up so fast. And they're not even my kid. It's absolutely insane. There's another 14 lines. So we're going to lose a little bit of weight, or a little bit of fish here on, on this pole. But oh well, nothing with too, you know, nothing too shabby. And then, uh, like I said, at the beginning of the episode, we will set the lines and then uh, go in and, and sell them and whatnot. And then uh, hopefully have enough money for fuel, because fuel is going to be number one. And then go on from there. But anyway, we can only do what we can do. But yeah, so uh, my hunting season's over. I know we're bouncing topics left and right, but hunting season's over. Uh, it actually ends on Friday, but uh, on the 4th. Uh, and today is the 1st of November, so happy Halloween. Uh, if you guys uh, if you guys celebrate that, happy Halloween. That was yesterday on the 31st, but uh, we didn't do much. We just watched some movies and, and just stayed in the house. And no one come up to the door or nothing like that, so we didn't have any trick-or-treaters. And none. I mean, there's only like maybe four or five kids out on the block that, uh, that would even come over anyway, but uh, They've been having a lot of safer trick and treatings or trunk or treat or whatever the heck you want to call it and for the kids, which is a hell of a lot safer than what we used to do when I was a kid. So that's not bad. And that would have been right over 5,000 pounds, maybe even 6,000. But uh, yeah, so uh, my brother and uh, his wife took the took their girls and, and go all over, uh, you know, everywhere. I was talking to uh, my brother parents and stuff like that but they were too tired when they came or uh, before they came to my house which is fine because I just you know do our own thing and everything else so it wasn't too terribly bad but anyway hopefully you guys had a safe uh, Halloween if you got kiddos and stuff like that and hopefully everybody was safe and so on and so forth we still going full speed let's try to get it half fast straight there we go look at that beautiful beautiful winter day I know on Sunday we got to uh, make the clocks go backwards an hour which I'm not necessarily looking forward to I don't know why we can't just keep it one time and deal with it right but anyway <clears throat> not my decision it's uh, whoever's decision it is they get to make the decision and that's it so Oh, well, nothing we can complain about too terribly much. Where is... I think there was only two. If I could just keep the boat in gear, that'd be fantastic. Because then we'll just set this up and go. And where is it? And set any time. There we go. Gorgeous. And then... Can I prepare it? Oh, not yet. Oh, we're kind of stuck there. Oh, there we go. Guess I can't prepare it yet. 
kind of weird. To be a touch of a bug there. There we go. That's fine. Do I have one more somewhere? Nope. Oh, oh, right. 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 Nope. Oh, there. There. Now I'll put it on top, I guess. Which is good, because then I won't have to worry about it. And let's set it. Any minute. And set. There we go. Beautiful. And then one more. And as soon as this is done. I like how there's only like six hooks. And that's it. You know. But. Oh well. Not much we can do. It doesn't look like we're going straight. At all. Definitely need autopilot. But. Can't see what. Uh, what kind of fish are under the boat either. So. It might be a bust. Or it may be a. Maybe a victory. Yeah, there's some haddock under there, so that's all that truly matters. That's yeah, relatively straight. I mean, can't complain anyway. And then let's set them sooner or later. I mean, there are only 500 hook lines, so I mean, we can't, you know, can't complain too terribly much. I like how nobody threw that out. That was fantastic. Oh, so you can cook on this boat. Can cook, hand gut, so on and so forth. We don't have anybody to work for us yet. Because I had to fire Emma. I think her name was. Uh, she was just costing us too much money. Trying to fast forward to, to uh, December. She was costing us too much money. So we had to let her go. And uh, now I kind of wish that we had her back. <laughs> but anyway, 22,045 pounds. And... Uh, not too bad. Let's just keep on going. There you go. Oh, that was my finger slipped. That's what I was going to say. Two and a quarter star on that one. That was even worse. It kind of seems like you can't go too slow, but you can't go too fast. I haven't figured it out yet. So let's just... And then I'm trying to figure out here. Let's go right below the line. Okay, that was worse. What about above the line? Okay, so maybe above the line is where we need to be. Okay, now slower. Mm, I mean, there's not a whole hell of a lot we can do about it. That was okay. I mean, we did decent speed. And Okay, we're getting a little worse. It just doesn't necessarily make a whole lot of sense to me. Because if the knife is in the fish, I mean, you're going to get the fish gutted no matter what. So if you guys know just exactly how to get five stars every single time, let me know in the comments below. Okay. Apparently I didn't get all of that one. That wasn't enough. Okay, well, I guess we're just going to average two stars. I mean, or two and a half stars, that's pretty much all we can do. A lot of haddock out there, so we didn't uh, didn't hit the cod any or anything. That's not terrible. Ah, well, I guess we could get it at the end. Don't want to go too terribly far past that X, so we got to watch that. There's a three star. That was a terrible gut. That was another three star. I mean, we're kind of getting better at the whole three star thing. I say that, and then all of a sudden we get a two star. That was fantastic. And then a less than a two star. Okay, and an almost three star. A two star. Oh, there we go. There's a cod. And let's just butcher that one, because why not? Here's a pollock. Good enough. And then some redfish. There we go. So that was terrible. Uh, but anyway, so we got uh, 40 minutes. We got a ton of time yet, so hopefully we can make this. Eight hours and ten minutes. So eight hours and eight hours, that'll be 16 hours. 16 hours steam, that's not too terribly bad. Hopefully we can get better than $6,000. Let's just put it that way. All right, sell the fish. $8,000, there we go. So cod is negative 32, redfish is plus three. Oh, I guess we do get port reputation. Right there. Okay, so apparently we just have to get high enough. We got $55. Let me tell you what, we're, that's going to go straight to the bank. $8,400. So that is fantastic, actually. I cannot uh, cannot complain with that. What is this? We need... That looks like a haddock to me. 
So that's 2200 bucks right there. It's gone, right? Nope, nope, not fishing gear. Let's go to maintenance because we need $2,000. Oh, my God. $2,700 bucks for fuel. Uh, can I go to fish market shop? Can I get a knife? How much is a knife? 5000 for plastic. And I can't even get that. I can't even get that. Like, that is just sad. I can't get that. Uh, how much is the bank? The loan is... Oh, so it's actually $170,850. That was point five. So we owe 850 bucks more. Uh, we got two years to pay it off, so hopefully we can pay that off faster. Uh, we owe $5,051.93, so basically $5,052. Uh, so, yeah, we got a long ways to go. Hopefully we can make up all that, you know, money and so on and so forth, and so on and so forth. So anyway, thank you all so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Thank you all for coming out with me on the boat, uh, The Mistress. And uh, I'll catch you all in the next one. And you all, take care. <laughs>